Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are testing the ESAP welding machine and setumping it that way we can test it. But yes, let's get straight to it. Yes, let's, let's first start with the cable for this. I believe it just Yes, I need to remove that nut. And before that, let's get the old cable out of this. Or this is new cable, but the, get it out from this old machine and try to get it in some of these holes in here. Yes, good. This is pretty easy to remove because it just goes in there and should come right out. Yes. This is five kilograms of this cable. Pretty much brand new, but I need to get that out. Yes, it does not seem that I need to loosen this nut, but here is this plastic nut. And yes, this goes in this way, yes, like so. Yes, and then I need to get it into there. And now I'm going to open this and get it all the way through like that. Yes. Then close this and put this nut back on. And try to Yes. Now it's on there. Yes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty good. Next thing is getting the this thing opened up and yes, see. Yes, here is this cable, as you can see. This also feels pretty good. The quality is good in these. Yes. And then I have this 3 meter long cable. And here is the like. Yes. This feels pretty good. I don't know if I prefer this kind of like design or this one that I had in the old machine. This kind of like bulky style. This kind of fits hand a little bit better. But let's just keep going. Here is the hose for the gas or the CO2. Here is it, here is it. And then the other end will go into this machine. And the other end will go into the CO2 bottle. This goes, this quick connect goes back here where there is this plug that you just need to remove and then just connect it this gas or CO2 line yes you can hear when it clicks and then here is the other end that will go into this regulator
Yes. And now this should work. Yes. I can't hear any leaks. And that's good thing. But let's get this round cable from here and connect this. Yes, now I know that this cable goes in here and then this ground cable goes into this other one. Like that. Yes. Put. Now this is like ready to try this. I think I'm going to connect this to the three face that I have here that has also the singular one. But yes, next thing is just trying this. I needed to couple of adjust adjustments like changing the like gear that's in there that pushes the wire out because I don't know what was wrong with it but it did not do well but I have used this piece as a practice piece and I have done welding for a little bit thicker material and trying to like do some that's okay but like do some like this is 1.2 millimeter thick like little bit like less thick and yes that's little bit annoying when making videos but here is the like real practice piece these that go like this motion, these are made with a little bit different like roll and these are made with the current roll and almost almost the maxed, maxed out settings. You can see good penetration and yes, I can say that these will well uh, like hold this weld welds with will hold if you will weld because it goes all the way through but this was like little bit more like real life practice these are not the best best welds but these are welds that will hold and this has only one purpose and it is to hold this battery that will go into there and it's basically the only thing that this will need to do so this is good thing to practice with and I think I need to get new welding mask and maybe little bit like better workplace that table is okay, but I need to clear up a little bit to get it get to there. And yes, here is just this is from stick welding with the old is up there. But yes, but right now I can say with this machine, this is really like nice to use with these automatic settings and everything and this is I can feel from outside and from the welds that this is actually like good really good welding machine and you can see I use around seven like seven liters per minute minute of the gas or the CO2 and yes that is now tested and I can say that this is good
good. And the next thing is getting these holes, holes welded up. But yes, I can say that this is good machine. And if you want, like, do this little bit more like, or if you want to, like, do, like, car metals welding, like, really, like, thin metals, you not must have, but it's really good to have good machine, because that makes the, like, your, that makes your life easier. And yes, I can say that this is shit, this is good stick, and this is good MIG. I have not tested the like stick yet, but I need to do that sometimes. But now my practice piece is done, and I can say that this is 